Well, I just thought I would go outside. I'm so excited because it's been raining. And I thought I would show you what's been happening out here in the fruit forest. This is my little dehydrator. I have two of these. I, I've got over at Vietnam, Vietnam Town. And I have some lemon verbena. I have some bay leaves, guava leaves let's see lemon balm and they all dry in here for teas okay what did i do first today well i got really excited because it's been raining for a couple days as george did and i picked some more bay leaves from the bay leaf tree to put in the dehydrator or the dryer i think that's called a dryer that's the bay leaf tree. It started out about three inches tall 20 years ago, and now, I don't know, it's about 12 to 14 feet tall. Um, this is the banana circle after the rain. I love to come outside and just take in all the nature and all the flowers. These tropical magnolias uh, that George has planted here, you can smell the scent in our little outdoor station. These are called Michaelia. Okay. And they're all in bloom. There's two of them here. So as you walk out of the sunroom to the outdoor, you can smell those in our little station here, our little office. We planted a new curry tree. A lot of the flowers are coming up, you can see. We got our first tomato today. The coffee beans for a cup of coffee. George is always surprising me in the garden. He just transplanted these two new um, flowering trees. They're like red and orange and yellow. I can't remember the name of them offhand. All the bougainvilleas have really popped right now because of the rain. I love coming out into the fruit forest after the rain. Um, we've been having unseasonable rain here for summer, but it's great for the plants and in the fruit trees and the nut trees the jujubes and i love it that there hasn't been any wind because all the bananas even like the little baby ones all the leaves are still intact these are little baby hawaiian guavas that are starting to pop up and look at these ice cream bean trees that George has been pampering for all these years. The potatoes have loved all the rain. George tried a new experiment here. He got inspired by another YouTube channel, Sweet Pea. I think his name is Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea? Yes, in Queensland. He saw his sweet potatoes and he got motivated. It's funny how somebody can just trigger you and motivate you. The, the yacan has really, really come up out there after the rain. I'm going to use these kaffir lime leaves. Ooh, little new limes are coming. Kaffir limes. I'm going to use the young leaves here in a lao. Um, they're like lao rice balls. And I'm going to um, be making those. I can't think of the name of them. I'm going to be baking those in a couple days and using the kaffir lime leaves. They're made with like peanuts and shallots. And then you you um, take the rice balls with all these like, like red curry and kaffir lime. And then you lightly fry them. And then you wrap them in lettuce and herbs. Ooh. I put, I think on my Facebook, if you guys are on my Facebook, you can see the recipe. 
no need to buy dandelion leaves here because we have dandelion everywhere. Look how beautiful the Rocco pepper. Ricotto? Yeah, Ricotto or Rocco pepper. It's a spicy pepper. Um, it's a tree. I think George says that it um, gets to be about 10 feet tall. And it is amazing. I have a lot of these in the freezer. I put one of them in the... You saw the soup that I was making today. I'm going to make like a creamy vegetable bean soup and I'm going to put one of these babies in there. The first tomato came today and the tomatoes look like they're going to really be epic this year. More potatoes. Potato, potato, potato. And the lettuce trees, they're, they're growing. I didn't know this, but you can also like stir fry these. They don't have to be in a salad, so I'm excited about trying them stir fried. I haven't done that yet. And more potatoes, volunteer potatoes coming up, volunteer tomatoes coming up. And what I'm, you, you guys know I'm so excited about the tromboncini or the trombone zucchini. It's my favorite, 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 favorite. Okay, it's very humid out here in the back of the fruit forest. And wow, look at how the yam has come up. And this, look at how tall this lettuce tree has got since the last time I gave you guys a video. George's favorite flowers. He's trying to get rid of them, but I'm trying to talk him into just keeping this small little patch. We had a lot of them. Okay, let's see how the cucumbers are doing here. Oh, yes, they have tons of flowers from the rain. Oh, yeah, Lebanese cucumbers, yeah. The black sapote chocolate pudding fruit leaves are looking really good with a lot of fruit. The sugar cane is really growing high. Apple of the earth. Okay, let's see how this pumpkin is doing. Oh yeah, we have some of these in the front growing too. I just have to catch this because the dew the rain is on the agapanthas. It looks so pretty. Oh, oh, the smiling birds of paradise. They're smiling. Look at how the sweet potatoes are growing. Uh oh, there's a cabbage moth. I'm excited about the moringa. It really grew with the rain. The 
Those are the new flowers that George transplanted. He's making room for the bougainvillea to finish its way around the fence. This has been, I think, around eight years that the bougainvillea has been traveling back here. Looks like there's going to be a lot of custard apples this year after the great prune that George gave this tree. This is the first year for the <clears throat> fuerte to give us a lot of avocados. First tomato. Okay, we're in the front yard now. I know George is moving to the backyard. Ooh, beautiful. I love it after it rains. I'm excited that this year there are tons of my favorite pomelo, which is the Nam Roy. It's neat to see how George and I have different perspectives. If you go into real life Fruitopia, you'll see his perspective. He's making a video today too. I'm overwhelmed at how quickly this mandarin orange is growing outside of our bedroom window. It's almost, it is above the fence. Whew. And as you guys know, these are my favorite plums. I've asked George to bag them. I'm going to come out here because he's missed a lot of them and the birds have already started to, but he, he did get some of them. The coes and the green gauge. Oh yeah, let's see how the front yard avocados are growing. Oh my gosh. Let me try it from this angle. Ooh. Ooh. The pumpkin really took off with the rain. Wow, look at this avo, how it's growing. Rain, rain, rain. Love it. I love how the leaves on the bananas look after a rain and there's no wind. I noticed there was a lot of growth on this. Uh, it's like a purple, purple guava. A lot. And it looks like this fig tree is loaded and we're going to have to cover that, George. Lots of figs here that the birds would love. Let's start pecking. Okay, here's the other fig tree that needs to be covered. Yep. Banana Daddy doing his thing. Okay, I'm going to end the video here with the pomegranate. You guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. This is the... Well, the beginning of summer, lots of rain this year, um, unseasonably rainy, which is really exciting for the fruit forest. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again. This is Kim, over and out.